Hi everyone, Tina Killerin here. Thanks for joining me for lesson number six and the conclusion of our Train Your Brain series. You guys have learned a ton over the past week, right? You've probably learned more about your brain and how it affects your weight loss journey in the past five lessons that I provided to you than you've ever thought you could have imagined in a lifetime, right? So. Let's just give you a really quick, happy recap of everything that we've learned for the week. So what we've learned is <sighs> your brain is messing with you. Your brain is going to sabotage you at every chance it gets relative to your health and fitness journey, relative to your weight loss journey. It likes what it likes. It likes its comfort zone and it doesn't want to go outside of that. So when you try and get outside that comfort zone, your brain is always going to try and bring it back. So what did we learn about our brain? We have ingrained in our brains those habits, those perhaps unhealthy habits, and it's become part of that unconscious brain. So what have we done? We've learned how to become aware of what happens in our unconscious brain. We've learned, we've become aware of the habits that we've created. Let's relate it to water. You've heard the expression that water takes the path of least resistance. Same thing with your brain. Your brain has developed those pathways with those unhealthy habits over the numerous years. So it's just going to continue to take that route because that's the easy route. But now we're, we've become aware of what the unconscious brain is doing and we've learned to stop five, four, three, two, one, turn on the thinking part of our brain to make those new decisions. We've also learned that nutrients, sleep deprivation and dehydration have that negative impact on our brain. And if we have those three things happening in our brains or any one of those three things happening in our brains, it makes it really difficult for us to consciously make good decisions. So what really have we learned over this past week? We need to eat more fruits and vegetables. We need to sleep well and we need to drink water just so we're fueling our brains to help us make those right decisions for our health and fitness journey. What else have we learned? We've learned to become aware of our unconscious brain. We need to be aware of our unhealthy habits that we've established for ourselves. We've learned to stop five, four, three, two, one, turn on the thinking part of our brain to create those new healthy habits for us. We've become aware that the foods that we eat or the things in our environment, the stimuli that we provide to our brain creates that dopamine spike and that brain is always looking for that high. So what we need to do is just be aware of those things, aware of the unconscious mind, aware of your body and your brain's desire to have that dopamine level spike. We need to five, four, three, two, one, turn on the thinking part of our brain and create those new healthy habits as we move forward. Now remember, this is not an easy thing to do. Again, water takes that path of least resistance. Think about how long that water has been taking that path. In order for you to create a new path for that water to take, in order for you to create a new pathway, a new healthy habit for your body, it's going to take time and it's going to take work. You just need to be aware of the things that you're doing and the decisions that you're making. Now, it's not going to be perfect. You're not going to be perfect all of the time. Just know that you are gonna have moments of success and you're gonna have moments of absolute failure and that's okay. I'm gonna relate it to a story that just happened today. Went to Costco with my husband. We happened to walk down the candy aisle, the snack aisle, because he was looking for sunflower seeds. He really wanted that bag of M&Ms, that peanut M&Ms. And you know, you go to Costco and that bag is like this. I said, no, we put it back. We put it back in the cart, on the shelf, in the cart, on the shelf, in the cart, on the shelf, in the cart. We ended up buying the bag. He wanted the M&Ms. Fine, we'll buy the M&Ms. Who's eating most of the M&Ms? Me, I am but I knew going into it, right? So if I'm in Costco and I'm making that decision, I need to stop and think. If it's in my house, I'm going to be the one to eat it. I should have been the one to say, no, 
We're not buying it. It's staying on the shelf. It's not coming home with us. Again, turning off the, it's just easy to just buy it and take it home with us. We have to turn off the unthinking brain, dial into the habits that we're making and make those hard decisions. Again, it's not always going to be easy. You're going to have success. You're going to have failure. But the goal of the journey is to eventually have more successes and less failures. No matter where you are in your journey, no matter where you are, whether you're at the beginning or you're at the end of your journey because you're almost there at your goal, you're still going to have successes and failures. It's just a matter of tipping those scales and having more successes and less failures as you go. For right now, as you train your brain to make those healthier decisions, you're going to have more failures and less success. That's okay. You're going to eventually get to the point where you're tipping the scales and having significantly more success and less failures than you have in the past. And that's what you need to consider as a success. As those scales start to tip, even though you're having those failures, you're having them less and less. They're not as drastic. And when you do have them, we always talk about falling off the wagon, right? A success is getting back on that wagon. Okay, because we're all going to fall off the wagon. I fell off the wagon today. I can't even begin to tell you how many peanut M&Ms I ate today. But again, we get back on the horse, we get back on the train, we get back on that wagon, and we start tipping those scales back over again. So I want to thank you for joining me for our Train Your Brain series. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it. Do me a favor, if you missed any of the blogs or any of the videos within this series, go back and check them all out. I'm gonna make sure that in my blog post, I link to all of them. So this way you can go back and see exactly where your progression was relative to where we started on our Train Your Brain series and where we ended up here. So again, thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you all soon.